Welcome back to the Discourse program channel here on YouTube. This is Reinhard Neder and I will guide you in this video through the installation of the Discus Suite on a Windows operating system. I have changed as of versions 5.99 and later predominantly version 6.0 to a Windows subsystem for Linux since under this operating system the program is actually about 50% faster than the previous installation. The drawback is that the at least initial installation of the program is a little more time consuming. So without much ado, let's go to the home page of the Discos package. You find that on your browser by searching for Discos Simulation Package Home. And if we go there right now, please follow along the downloads link. And from the downloads link, the first thing we need is here the AAA install Discos Windows WSL guide. And if you open this in a browser, in a PDF browser, you will see here the detailed instructions for the installation on the Windows system. Basically, what we will do is we will install an app called Ubuntu 18.04, which is a Linux system on your computer. All the installation will be done through your PowerShell. So let's start the PowerShell as an administrator mode on the bottom left here of your computer type PowerShell. And then run this as administrator here, clicking on this tab highlighted run as administrator. This will cause then your computer to quickly blink out and ask whether you're willing to have this script to perform changes on your computer. This will not show up on the video. So we'll be back in a moment. So if we resume the video, you will have then here the PowerShell as administrator running. And the first thing that we need to do is tell your computer that it can run the Windows subsystem for Linux by typing this line, this long line, into the PowerShell. Fortunately, what you can do is you can left click this whole string, drag your mouse across it, copy it, Control C and Control V into the PowerShell, run this by typing Enter. And once they're done, your computer is ready for the PowerShell to operate and for the Windows subsystem to be installed. What you should do now is you need to reboot your computer. So we'll get back to you once you have rebooted your computer. All right. Now that you have rebooted your computer, what we can do is we need to go to the download site, get this script, triple B underscore install underscore suite underscore Windows 10 underscore WSL from the diffuse download site. So if I download here this script, triple B install suite Windows 10 WSL, please store this, save this file and store it in your default downloads folder. Once you've got that file there, we need to tell the PowerShell that it's okay to run this script. At the moment, the script is not digitally signed. So if you do not want to run an unsigned script, or if your administrator doesn't let you do it, skip this whole section and go to the section two of the manual. There you have detailed manual instructions, step by step, the commands you need to type instead of running the script, the results will be identical. So since I wrote the script and trust it, I can now copy this line, paste it into my PowerShell. And you see the PowerShell will want a confirmation of these changes. Please enter here the second entry, yes to all. Keep in mind that on a different Windows language, this may be a different wording, but we need to choose this second setting. So I need an A here, enter. And now I'm ready to run a script. The script has been stored in downloads. What you can do is you can copy this string C D for change directory, dollar home backslash downloads into your PowerShell. 
and you see now we are in C backslash users backslash your username backslash downloads ready to run the actual installation script. So we copy this control C and paste it into our PowerShell. Before I start it, keep in mind that the first time installation might be lengthy depending on the speed of your computer. If later on you update your program, this will be much, much faster. So let's start this here in the PowerShell. And you see, again, you get a security warning whether you want to run a script. So agree to run this script once. And now once you run it, the download of the Ubuntu app will start. A first user will be implemented. And once we have the download finished here, then the installation will start. It will take a few minutes. Every once in a while, I will skip a few of those seconds of the installation. So keep this installation video at a reasonable speed. Right now, I will just want to follow along the first few steps. Since you will be asked in a second to create a default Unix user account. Since the Windows subsystem for Linux creates a Unix system running behind your on the side of your Windows system, it requires a regular user. And this user shouldn't necessarily be the same as your Windows account. Just choose any name for this. And a moment later, you will be asked to enter this password. So here we are. You're asked to create a default Unix system. For right now, I'll just call this Discus. And now the system asks me to enter my user password. This should not be your Windows password. Just choose any suitable password that you can remember. You will have to retype this for confirmation. And then once it's been updated, the installation script will ask you for this password. This will happen several times since now the Ubuntu system needs to be upgraded and updated. All the latest patches need to be installed. And this will keep the system busy for a while. So we'll come back to that in a second. You see here the system asks you whether you want to download and install all these scripts. Please enter a yes to all these questions. And then we continue with the installation here. This is now the step where we've already installed the primary parts of the Discus installation. Again, we need to confirm the Discus password here. And this will update now and implement all the basic changes and patches to the Ubuntu system. As I said, this may take a moment. So we will skip off a few seconds of this video. After a few moments, the installation script will come to this screen where it says configuring libssl1. Here the OK no button is highlighted. Please simply press enter. And on that next screen, again, the configuring of the libssl1. Right now, the cursor is here at this SSH button. So what you have to do is type the tabulator key on your keyboard to highlight the OK button. Type Enter again. And now the installation will proceed quite for a while. And we will take a quick break. So now that I have shaved off a few minutes of the installation, we're almost finished with the Discus compilation. Please be assured that if you later update the Discus program, the whole installation will be much, much faster. It will just be the compilation of the actual program. So you see, once the Discus compilation is finished, that's afterwards, 
the program will tell you here to that the VCR server will be installed, the Windows server that we use for the, all the graphics applications. Please run this installation of the VCR server. Make sure that you accept all the defaults so that the program will actually be able to find this. So we we'll simply click here on Next to install this. Keep it here in Program Files, VCX Server, and run the installation. This will not take too much time. And after this installation is finished, then the disk or source code will show up for a first time. So that should happen right now. So I close this and we're pretty much done with this. Click in the installation window, type any key, the spacebar for example, to continue. And that is now finished with the installation. You see here we have the Discus Suite window where we can now type any kind of commands. I will place several instruction videos for how to use the Discus Suite, how to run this, how to build simulated crystal structures and calculate their diffraction pattern, respectively the PDFs on this YouTube channel. So I'm looking forward to using that. For the moment, you can just close this window here with an exit button. We do not need the PowerShell anymore. Before you close the PowerShell, however, I would recommend to set back the execution policy to remote signed to a more stringent case so that you do not run accidentally unsigned videos, but really have to do that intentionally. Yes, we want to confirm this here. Yes to all. And that's it. Now we can close the PowerShell. And you see now you have up here a new icon on your desktop for the Disco Suite underscore WSL. And if you double click on that, the Windows shows up for the operation where you can type commands as will be explained in further videos. Before I sign off, quickly going here to the bottom of this installation here to the manual installation you see you can copy here to the downloads screen in order to install the ubuntu app what you need to do is copy these two lines one by one the curl will download the ubuntu app from the microsoft store the add package will install that and then we run the Ubuntu app within the PowerShell using here commands to update the PowerShell to upgrade and at the end to exit automatically. This will likewise as the automatic script wise installation ask you for your user password. Same there, same there. And after that is finished, then type here this script Ubuntu 18.04.exe with this whole path here. Keep in mind your username needs to be your Windows account on your Windows system where it will then run this script triple B underscore install script. This is the actual discus installation that will run within the Ubuntu system that we just created. Once that's finished you can either use the Windows Explorer in administrator mode to copy the folder Discus WSL from your downloads folder into C program files x86. Please copy it into this folder and then create a link on your desktop using the icon file discus underscore suite underscore 128.ico which is in this folder and I would suggest to name this link here as we have it on the automatic installation discus underscore suite underscore WSL and that will then be able to do that. Instead of creating the link, you can just copy all these lines here one by one into the Ubuntu Power into the PowerShell, excuse me, run that and that should be it. Afterwards, I would suggest you use your browser, download and install the VCR VCX server file, this window launcher that we use. You find the source code here at sourceforce.net projects to install it, run it. And once that's installed, then you should be able to run your disco suite as I did in the automatic one-touch installation. 
So for right now, I'm signing off. Enjoy the program. Look forward to meeting you here on the channel again. And you will find lots of instruction movies to come within due time.